Today is the 100th anniversary of Ralph Johnstone's historic flight from Belmont Park all the way out here to Middle Island where he had to land after being blown off course in his attempt to reach a high altitude mark. Uh, he ran out of fuel and he had to land right across the street here from Artist Lake. It's quite a phenomenal experience that he must have had flying in such an open uh, air type of vehicle. Hard to imagine that he soared almost to 9,000 feet. It must have been similar to today because it's windy here and we know that the winds were such that it actually helped him go much higher than he had anticipated going. And for it to have blown him so far off course from Belmont Park, which as you know is located near the Queens Nassau border, for, them, for him to have been blown all the way out here, making him really the first person to come this far east in an airplane, uh, it must have been really super windy. Imagine what it was like for people to see their first airplane. Almost must have seemed like aliens had landed. He had all sorts of things repaired before he could take off. And even had to have chop down a few trees, I understand, in order to be able to take off again. And some of us have been joking that if that happened now, he wouldn't be able to take off right away because he'd have to get a tree clearing permit. I uh, came out to um, support our Civic Association as we celebrate 100 years of um, historic flight. Um, which happened to crash land here in Middle Island. Anytime you get to celebrate uh, anything that happens in your hometown uh, and remember uh, the things that happened here in the past, maybe share it with some of the young people in the community, um, the better off we are as a, as a group of people.